Hi everybody, Brian here, back with what I got over the past few weeks. Uh, we'll start here with the game I've been playing the mo uh, a lot of uh, this past weekend. I just stayed inside and played this game. Um, that's Yoshi's Woolly World. Really, really fun game. Um, the art style is awesome. The level design is very creative. It has returning characters like Poochie, Shy Guys on the stilts are back, has the Blarg and the Lava. Um, everything's made out of like yarn and wool, and it's, it looks like there's fuzz on the ends of it. And it, the heat levels, like they got it to look hot, the yarn to look hot. I don't know how they did it, but this is an awesome game. I'm really enjoying it. I'm taking it really slow. I'm going through each level, 100%ing it on each level, and if I don't get it, I go back and do it uh, again. And I, it's a joy to play. I, I it just. I, I'm in World 3, just started World 3 on one level, and if you have a Wii, you pick up this game if you're even remotely into platformers. Um, it's just awesome. Um, the Wii U has a ton of great platformers. Um, this is this is the um, the bundle that comes with the Yarn Yoshi, and I also picked up these little guys here. Uh, I picked up, I liked them so much, I picked some up uh, in the box. I uh, left in the box, and I wanted to open these ones, so... Look at how awesome these guys are. Um, when you scan them in the game, they will have like um, a little Yoshi following you and mirror whatever you do. Um, it's really, really cool. And um, yeah, pretty awesome. And there's also, so you collect, to have a little bit more about the game because I really like it. Um, like Yoshi's Island, you collect the star, flower, flower stars. There's five of those, or I think there's five of those, yeah, and there's five of the, there's also, um, a Kamek turns all the Yoshis into little yarn rolls, and as he's carrying them away, they drop into each level, so you have to find five of those, and, um, at the end of the level, if you collect them all five, you knit together a, a new Yoshi, um, and you, there's also, you collect, um, uh, you have to get your health full at the end, um, and you don't have to get it all in one go. You can go through and collect all those, and then beat the level and come back, and it'll remember what you collected. So if you missed anything, uh, you can go and get um, get it on your next run. You also collect uh, the 20 stamps. Um, they're Miiverse stamps that you find in little beads. Um, they, they have a little uh, icon, a stamp icon on it. Uh, there's 20 of those per level. And once you get everything, it stars the level. And if you get a star on all eight world levels in the world, it unlocks a special world, an S world, which is uh, very challenging. And some of, so far, the two I played have been challenging, but not unfair, and very, very well level, very, very good level design. Um, um, most fun I've had um, this year playing a game. Um, I. I think Kirby's Canvas Curse, I really didn't think, uh, I really enjoyed that. I didn't think um, it would top top it, but very, 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 very fun game. Um, so enough gushing about Yoshi's Woolly World. We'll go on to another game I've been playing for the 3DS. Um, and I've been really enjoying playing this at night, um, level at a time. And that's Chibi Robo Ziplash. I've never played any of the other Chibi Robo games, uh, but this one's really, really good. Um, it's a 2D platform, which I love, and that helps. Um, and you have a mechanic with your zip lash, pl your plug. So you have a whip lash, which is a shorter throw, and a zip lash, which is a longer throw that you charge up and you can throw in directions and grab onto something and swing from, like, um, like a vine. Um, you collect these little balls. And the blue ones raise your whiplash, the red ones raise your whiplash and ziplash. You can get up to 10 inches on your whiplash and up to 180, I think, on your ziplash. Um, the ziplash can break through certain blocks, and you also find these little toys during the world that ask for snacks. You find the snacks in the world and give them to the toys, and they ask for another snack and they tell you a description of the snacks. It's really cool seeing like snacks that I never seen in other countries. Um, you see typical US snacks like blow pops, Tootsie Pops, 
us potato chips. There's also German snacks and Japanese snacks. Um, so the collectibles in this are there's three little gold medals. Uh, there's also three little robots, uh, chi bots that you collect. And there's also um, two or one uh, snacks on each stage. Also, if you go through without getting hit, you get a little badge. Uh, without using a checkpoint, you get a badge, or without using an item, you get a badge. And when you go through again on the level, you find a little alien that randomly appears, and you can take him to a, an alien drop pad and throw him with your zip lash into the ship to uh, fly away. And they mostly give you coins, but one time they gave me an actual uh, costume that you can use to dress up Chibi Robo. Uh, it doesn't change his abilities, but it makes him look different. I, I got the, the one I did get finally was the um, Tingle one. Makes him look like Tingle from um, Majora's Mask and um, um, the other Zelda games. So, Chibi Robo Zip Flash, very, very cool. I haven't, I'm not going to open the uh, Amiibo. I'm going to wait for the standalone one and um, buy it. But uh, the Amiibo support in it is if you scan your Chibi Robo Amiibo, after each level, you can scan them and he levels up. And you can also scan other characters and they unlock like little costumes you can use. Um, very cool game. Um, really having a blast with it. Also for the 3DS, I picked up Legend of Legacy. This is the launch edition. Um, it comes with a nice hardcover art book and a, um, a soundtrack CD of about mm, 10 songs or so. And basically, from what I hear about this game, there's not much story, but you see seven characters, and you pick a character to go, and you have three other characters, and it goes through, there's this land called Avalon that you got to find out what happened to. And this is, uh, from what I understand, this is from the creator, the, um, one of the story writers who did Chrono Trigger, and there's a frog in it, like a frog prince in it. So I know as soon as I start this game, I'm going to pick this frog here to, as my main character. Um, it's an Atlas release, and the people who develop it were Fury, F-U-R-Y-U. I had never heard of those, but I hope, I hope, unlike Bravely Default, and I'm still playing that game. And I've, I, with RPGs, if you don't go back and play them, you forget where you're at, and that's where I'm at with Bravely Default. I hope this one grabs me enough that I want to keep playing it and not put it down. Um, so uh, maybe I'll actually finish another RPG for a change so hoping that this would be will be it and I just want to show the the art book real quick because um, it's a really really good quality art book um, it comes with it it's you know hardcover it shows some of the the characters let me open up to one of the characters here so here's that frog I was talking about uh, and there's the other main characters you have Owen. Here we go with this old. And some. Let's see if I can get. Bianca is another character. So, yeah, really good art book. And hoping that, um, like I said, I can get really get into that game. So. That is Legend of Legacy. Um, what else did I get? I got um, a Nintendo DS game. This is a game I hear about. Well, I hear the sequel is coming out for the 3DS. Um, it's in Japan already, and that's um, Peacock, Picross 3D. I've never played a Picross game. You can get this really cheap. Basically, from what I understand, it was a cube, and you have to remove blocks, chisel away at the blocks to unreal the picture in the cube. Um, and it has numbers on the little cubes, and that tells you how many, I think, uh, blocks are next to it. I'm not 100% sure, but you have to tap to remove them. Um, I haven't played it, so I'm not 100% sure, but it was really cheap. You can get this for like under $10. Um, so happy to have that. Also, an NES game, Soccer. I never have seen this game. It's a black box game. Uh, very early release in the sports series, so happy to pick that up for cheap. Also, at Walmart, um, I found these in the Hot Wheels section, the toy section. I knew they were coming out, and I thought I'd check. And these are Super Mario Brothers Hot Wheels. Um, 
celebrate the 30th anniversary. So I'm going to start with um, an order. We have Super Mario Brothers, and this one is a milk delivery truck. It says Dairy Deliverer. Dairy Delivery. You see the artwork on it. And on the back you have all of them. And you see the little 30th Mario anniversary symbol. My favorite Mario game is Super Mario Brothers 2 with the iconic Mario jumping with the turnip. And this is a cool one. It's like a hot rod, I guess. The classic yellow box Tanuki flying, or the raccoon flying, Super Mario Brothers 3, school busted. I guess it's like a school bus. My other favorite Mario Super Mario game is Super Mario World, and this is a Volkswagen T1 panel bus with Mario and his cape flying here. My mom's favorite Mario game, and one that we used to be play. She's a lot. She's better at it than I am, but that's Doctor Mario, and this looks like a hearse almost. It's an eight crate delivery. It says. Yeah. And a classic game that started a genre or genre almost with kart racing, um, but made it popular. Um, and still going strong today. Super Mario Kart. And that's an AOK. -okay. Looks like an old PT Cruiser, almost like a PT Cruiser or like a mobster car. So there's two, three, four, six of them total. They go run for about four dollars each and check your Walmart, Kmart, where or Target. You know, wherever matchboxes are sold um, for them. Uh, so I'm just happy to get all those. Also, I don't have a new 3DS yet. Uh, the Well, I have a new 3DS XL, but I kind of want a new 3DS, the regular size one. Um, so Nintendo on their website sold faceplates, so I picked up some faceplates to get in case I do get one. Um, a new 3DS. Here's a Kirby cover plate. Kind of cool. And this one is pretty cool. It's a mushroom. Looks like a super mushroom. There you see the back. Um, so which one? This is the... Um, I don't know which one is the top and which one's the bottom. That would be... Okay, this one is the bottom here with the eyes and this one's the top. So happy to have that. And also because you know, if I when I do get a new 3DS, um, I, I got um, the charger cradle for the new 3DS. So you plug this in here, and you just top dock your new 3DS on top of it. I have one for the new 3DS XL, but obviously the new 3DS is smaller, so it sells on their site for ten bucks. So happy to have that. And yeah, I think that's everything I got. Um, still playing. Uh, I um, was planning on playing more of Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I played that, trying to beat it. I'm up to level five, um, the Ice World, and then I uh, had to stop. Um, but I want to pick that up again and play that for Halloween. And hopefully, finish that. Maybe play Castlevania again. Um, I finished Castlevania one, two, three last year. Um, I would like to play those through again, just because it kind of feels like Halloween-y. Um, and Symphony of the Night I beat last year, too. Um, probably stick with the platform ones this year, though, still. Maybe Super Castlevania beat that again. Um, so, and I beat uh, um, Castlevania Bloodlines for Genesis. Um, that was the, this summer, so that's what's going on. I uh, hope everybody's having a great fall. It's really, really cool here. It cooled down to, it was like 33 degrees Fahrenheit today, this morning. Um, really cool. It's supposed to warm up to back to the 60s and 70s later. Definitely falls here. Um, I like fall. I just don't like the reminder that winter's coming because it just makes moving, traveling a pain in the butt. Um, so, yeah, I hope everybody has a um, great rest of the weekend. And Enjoy your time off and play some games.